and another one is this Felix looks like Felix Felix the cat at Felix Bakat <laughs> What's up, titas and titas? Jared and Conde here of Tita Fit. All right, so if you're new to this channel, we talk about health, we talk about fitness, we talk about living your best life as a tito, all right? And, uh, or a tita, for that matter. <laughs> so this channel is unisex. Uh, we don't actually, we don't discriminate LGBTQ, um, doesn't matter. Um, if you like health, if you wanna be fit, check this out, I'm a 15 year veteran of the fitness industry i have coached in three different countries around the world and uh, we share our thoughts in this channel so we just finished working out today i encountered something that a lot of people are curious about if you're into working out you probably thought at some point or the other uh, which one should you do first should you lift weights first or should you do cardio first conventional wisdom uh, think or dictates that you should do cardio first uh, i wouldn't really say misconception but like a because it's not like it's it's bad or anything like that but a lot of people do think that way that you should do cardio first now if you're curious about that which one should you do first cardio first or weights first check this video out and uh, subscribe to this channel give this video a like if you give this video a thumbs up or even comment down below if you like what we say if you don't like what we say comment down below as well and uh, let's see if you like what I have to tell you in the comments <laughs> okay which one should you do, work out, uh, lift weights first or cardio first? It really depends. Uh, generally, a lot of people lift weights and do cardio for two reasons. Either to lose fat or to look good, to build muscle. So it's one of those uh, two. Uh, for both those goals, guess what? It might be to your advantage to do cardio after lifting weights. So you may want to lift weights first. One, why? Building muscle. You want to give your full effort to the weight training session because that's where you get the most bang for your buck. If you do cardio first, you might be too tired to get a quality lifting session. Now, on the other hand, if you're trying to lose fat, here's the thing. You want to use as much of your energy coming from fat stores or from your existing fat stores. That's why you work out. When we lift weights, especially if the weights get somewhat heavier, your body will use more of your stored glycogen. Okay, so. Uh, glycogen is a form of uh, car is the basically the stored form of carbohydrates in our body. Your body uh, stores it as glucose or glycogen, and then that's uh, used for what's called an anaerobic uh, type of uh, workout or anaerobic expenditure. <laughs> so there are three sources of energy. ATP is the first one, adenosine triphosphate. That's the strongest source of energy, but it does come in short supply and it takes a while to recharge it. The second one is glycogen, and that comes from your anaerobic system. And then the last one is fat, or stored fat even, and that comes from your aerobic system. Now, a lot of people will say that they want to burn fat, so they're going to go aerobic and do cardio first. 
But here's the thing, since you probably have a lot of stored glycogen, your body will prefer to use that first before it goes to your actual fat store. So if you're trying to lose fat, the best way to deplete your glycogen stores is to lift weights. So lift weights, glycogen is depleted, and then do cardio after, maybe about 30-40 minutes, and then it can now turn to burning fat or using fat as an energy source. In an ideal world, if you're trying to build muscle, you may want to separate your strength or your lifting sessions and your cardio sessions uh, by as long of a gap as possible. Uh, if, like, say, for example, you lift three times a week, let's say Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, ideally, you would do your cardio on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. But if you really want to build muscle, three workout days might not be enough. You get the best results lifting four to six times a week. So if you are going to go that route of lifting four to six times per week, it doesn't make sense because you're going to have two maybe two days if you're lucky to rest so the lift one day and cardio the next isn't gonna work because you're gonna have uh, consecutive cardio days now it makes sense that if you can you may want to lift in the morning and then do cardio at night that's possible but if you can't just do the cardio after shortening especially if you're trying to build muscle that's why bodybuilders um, a lot of bodybuilders are trying to bulk up they hardly ever do cardio because they want to build muscle a lot a lot of muscle in the off season and then uh, pre-contest when they want to lean out or during Bora season okay once the once we get to travel again you know you guys know this uh, once February hits once pumatak ang February January the people who are on New Year's resolutions fill up the gym pagdating ng Feb half of them are gone <laughs> okay so guys don't forget I've ran gyms I know the way this works by February half of them are gone because they were expecting results in one month, but hey, dude, you, you hey, dude, or uh, uh, Tito or Tita, you got fat in a year. Don't expect to get that weight off in one month. So it takes a lot longer than that. But anyway, since a lot of people want immediate gratification, uh, by Feb, they're gone. But come Feb, guess who comes to the gym? It's the people who are planning to go to Laboracay. <laughs> or Leiborakai, whatever you call it. So, and uh, now, they're all of a sudden, you know, they, they're spending like two hours at the gym lifting, doing cardio afters, and even bodybuilders, when they try to peak for a competition, when they try to lean out and you'll see the abs, they're gonna do cardio. They're gonna go, you'll see the bodybuilders, they're, gonna, they're on the treadmills with high inclines, but walking. So very low intensity cardio after lifting to burn off that uh, the fat that's left after depleting their glycogen source. They know this. Another option, is to do fasted cardio in the morning low intensity fasted cardio don't don't crank up the intensity too much and then separate that by a couple of hours feed yourself afterwards and do your lifting session at night okay so but you said you know do 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 weight training first lift weights first and do cardio last that like i said it depends really it depends so there are different strategies if you can pack in two sessions in a day lift weights first and then cardio later but if you can't if you can't pack in two sessions in one day like most of us like most everyone else who has a job who have other responsibilities you have a family you may want to pack them together but lift weights first always and then cardio last all right so remember when you lift weights your body will burn more calories afterward we've explained that in another video about 36 hours after your body is burning way more calories than usual if you lift weights whereas if you do cardio your body will only burn those extra calories during the actual cardio session itself so i hope that video helped you out a lot in deciding which one to do first strength or cardio and let us know in the comment give it a try and uh we'll see you next time check out our other videos right here for fat loss tips, muscle building tips, crossfit, bodybuilding, and all that other stuff. Thank you, titas and titas. See you next time.